racetrack net. He saves the race car up almost against Bobby Labonte. Dale Earnhardt Sr. has come from 17th spot in four laps to lead it on the final lap. But Kenny Wallace is in second spot, followed by his teammate, Joe Nemechek. Nemechek with the pole center. And Kenny Wallace has likewise never won a Winston Cup race. Three Chevrolets on the final lap at Talladega. 2.7 million and a million dollar bonus for Dale Earnhardt if he can hang on. The no ball five contender, Mr. Winston Cup Dale Earnhardt comes down and will take his tenth career victory at Talladega. White flag for Chuck Bound. A 60 some race winless streak about to be snapped. Grissom right to his bumper at turn two. Loosens him up just a little. Turn three, this is it. Grissom on his tail. Bound off the corner. Grissom to the inside. Bound may be out of fuel. Grissom down and wins it. And the green flag and white flag are out at Dover. A one mile shoot out to the finish. Jr. looking low on Vickers. Vickers to block to the inside. A little bit loose there. Nope. Tried to get a little bit of arrow loose. Here comes Hornaday in the back there with fresh tires. Not a factor for the win. He's racing for third or fourth. And it doesn't look like Hamilton Jr. can do anything no with pressure. Vickers. No pressure. Third win of 2003. Brian Vickers. Look at the race for fourth. Jason Keller in fourth and coming on the bottom of McLaughlin. Then the V6 of Bobby Dodder, Dennis Setzer, Jeff Fuller, and Curtis Markham. White flag. Boy, oh boy. I know his heart's got to be beating hard right now, but he has this thing pretty well. Johnny Benson's going to win the race. Johnny Benson will go to victory lane. Sadler is second, McLaughlin third. Keller in fourth and a crash at turn four on the checkered flag lap. One more time around for win white number flag, 51. Flag, white flag right here. And will he go two for two in this two truck? It will be a huge day for Ron Hornaday if he's able to stay out front. He'll be able to notch another racetrack. As far as getting a win at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, a place he has never gone to victory lane. The final two turns coming out of turn number four. Ron Hornaday is on a roll. Win awesome. number 51. Thank you so much. Let me drive this thing. This is cool. <laughs> That's heartfelt right there too, <laughs> Phil, isn't it? He said, this is cool. Yeah, this could hurt him for sure because he's got almost too much of a lead. With one lap to go, these guys are going to have some momentum on him. And watch the outside. There's a 60 car. Carl Edwards, the points. The help from the 77 car. Teammate Tony Stewart, or is he going to try to go for the win here? We see Steen coming out of the car, out of the 77 car, tucked right up behind Tony Stewart. And Harvick is now getting a little bit of a push from the 42 car. That's how close it is with Montoya right behind Kevin Harvick. Does he have enough time to get there? Tony Stewart with a push from Bobby Labonte. Mears is third, Reagan is fourth. Here comes Labonte on the outside. They come to the trial. We'll remember the start finish line is here. They get it. Yeah. And what a run by Bobby Labonte. What an effort by the former Cup Series Good champion job, and Bush Series champion. Here comes Randy LaJoy coming to the white flag. LaJoy with the third tire has the lead. White flag is out. What a great move by Randy LaJoy. He saw the contact coming. I said before, watch out for LaJoy. He's lurking in third. Green with one last chance to try and get him. They're going to catch some traffic. Randy LaJoy slip sliding to the win here in Memphis. Green will finish second. Sauter finishes in fourth because Harvick will get him at the line. Tony 
Just the two of you. Neck to neck, come on. Now it just depends on who goes with who. And how strong that 88 is, we're finally going to find out. Stay green. Now the caution is out. Race is over. There are 19 scoring loops around this track. The 88 oh, line, baby. Oh, 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 88 oh, line, baby. Oh, 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 NASCAR will use their scoring loops and television replays to determine the position of the cars on the track. You do not race back to the yellow in NASCAR. And it was a wreck. Dale Jarrett was involved in. in brought on that rule. White flag comes out. Bobby Hamilton in front of Jack Sprague. Shane Meal drops back a truck leg. Now, Jack Sprague, the only competitor that is in range to take over the top spot from Bobby Hamilton. Hamilton needs a perfect turn to win this race. As he comes through three and four, he will get that perfect turn and win the UAW GM 250. What a great run by Bobby Hamilton. Those guys were not able to do anything with him. This race is official. Dale Jr. off the of turn four. White flag in the air trying to deliver here in Richmond. Ty Dillon said, is it official yet, Adam? I got a half a lap here to try to do something with Dale Jr. He's dominated the afternoon. Never won in his own equipment. Junior with three career wins at Richmond. Last start here came in 2002. He hasn't forgotten how to do it here. Dale Jr. wins at Richmond. $100,000 for Ty Dillon.